Do you uh, genuinely write from, from personal uh, experience? Yeah, it's, it's pretty personal. I don't think I'm really good at the whole, like, you know, like a character perspective. I mean, I like that sort of stuff, that sort mm -hmm. of writing. It's just not what, not what comes to me naturally. I think, I mean, I go all around the world and, like, play all these gigs, but I, have, like, I don't really have, like, anything to show for it. I don't, I don't own anything, you know? And uh, all I have is, like, these stories, you know, and, like, these memories, you know? It's like, that's all I can write about, you know? But is that something tough on you, then, that, that you have been all around the world with your music, but then have nothing to show for it? No, not at all. I kind of like it that way. I'm sure if I wanted to buy, like, a couch, I could, but not going to happen, you know? I'm, I'm just, I'm happy getting out all the time, and I have, like, a backpack, and stack of records about this big and a guitar. That's kind of all I need, you know, and I'm happy to do it. And I'll keep doing it, you know, it doesn't really matter. What, what do you like about this, this kind of drifterish lifestyle? I mean, just meeting cool people everywhere and just, it's so easy to like hang with people, you know, you just, you go everywhere and people just want to hang out and drink beer and talk about records, which is mm -hmm. what I like to do. I like to hang out, drink beer, and talk about records. You know, and it's really easy to find people who are into that all over the world, no matter where you are, no matter like what weird language barrier. You, know, you can be like John Coltrane, like John Coltrane. You know, like you can agree on that. You know, and it's just fun, and I don't mind the travel. Like a lot of people bitch about like being on an airplane or sitting in an airport. I like it. You know, it's it's that, or I'm at home just like drinking crappy black coffee and like sitting on my couch and you know, like I'm happy to get out anywhere anytime. And then on the record there is there is I think one song about uh, life on the road the high road. So what, is uh -huh. this kind of did this or originate from from that part of your your Yeah, record? I mean the song is called the high road. I don't know if it's so much about like I'm touring or anything like that. I think the high road for me is just like this life that I kind of choose to deny. Like, to be totally honest, like, there's, like, a, a really, you know, simple way of, like, leading yourself and, like, being happy, but I, I kind of, like, have terrible ideas a lot of times, you know, like, I'm not quite, you know, like, I, I choose the low road sometimes, you know, just because it's easier. And, like, the high road for me is just, like, you know, being fulfilled, but I choose to not be fulfilled sometimes or not happy sometimes, you know. And so, yeah, the high road, it's just, like, it's, it's hard to take that high road and like make the good choice sometimes. But Why do you think this is? It's quite interesting. I don't know, man. I'm like a totally divided dude, man. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty dense guy. I don't know. Next record, maybe I'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, you started them uh, off with uh, All Kinds of You. What was that kind of, did it set the tone for the record where the other songs kind of gravitated towards it? Yeah, I mean, I knew I wanted, I didn't really want it to be a guitar record. I just wanted it to be like a band record. You know, it's not about the guitar or anything. It's just everybody working together. And I think the whole tone for the record was just really instantaneous. Like the songs were written really quickly, mm -hmm. like backstage, at like other shows. And they're all like first take. We did the whole record in like two days. Okay. We just retracted it in two days and mixed it on the next, so like three days technically, right. I guess. But it was just done really fast. And I think the whole tone of the record was just like collaborating with other people and them having a voice in the songs too, you know, and like just changing ever so slightly every time. And do you then say now, uh, a couple months later, that, uh, do you look back at the, those songs and, and think about it, reflect on it? Yeah, totally. I mean, they're kind of old songs to me now, so I'm always moving on. But yeah, I mean, those songs are like, they definitely, they're like of that time and place when I wrote them, you know, like. And it's, it's just like a snapshot in time, mm -hmm. which, you know, like a lot of the stuff I do is, it's just like these snapshots in time, you know, and I'm always trying to make more snapshots in time, right. you know, and like I'm always trying to like document what I'm doing now, you know, and so that's, that's important for me to do. Is, is there maybe then a song that has changed in meaning over, over the last couple of months? Oh, sure. I mean, like, or you just like realize like how stupid you were for thinking like something like that, you know, like there's so many songs in this world about like love and heartache but you know like sometimes you listen to like old ones and you're just like wait I was the asshole you know like there's things you learn by like playing them I mean the songs like kind of lose their meaning after a while like you know, when you write something obviously like it's coming from the heart or you'd hope so at least you know but, I mean after a while when you're playing them for like six months straight like the songs no longer really have meaning they're just like a presentation it's like well here's what I play, you know, so a lot, of, a lot of songs that lose their meaning are just like become kind of stagnant. You know, there's like, there's not like a, a lot of energy to them anymore. You're just like kind of saying words, you're not really speaking them, you know.
So is, is this why, because your previous record came out, I think, in 2014, so, and, and then to mm -hmm. have this released in 2015 is quite, quite quick. Yeah. So is that why, the, the, as you said, the snapshots and then the, you yeah. kind of want to move on? Yeah, I mean, I'm always trying to make new records and new songs. Yeah, it's like always out with the old and the new. I think that's something I enjoy doing. It's, it's like, a, it's challenging, you know, it's like mm. to constantly stay fresh and write new stuff. And, but yeah, I mean, I'm always trying to like, just make new records. Hopefully there'll be another one this time next year. You know? Okay. I hope so. So do you write a lot then when you're on the road or, or at home? Do you, do you continually write songs? I mean, I play guitar every day. I don't think I'm like writing every day though. I mean, I, I'll sit around and like practice every day, you know. And, like, a song kind of finds you in the weirdest times, you know, like I'm not really the type who can just, you know, like well, it's a nice sunny day out today in Holland. I think I'm going to get a cup of coffee and then like go to my friend's house and like write a beautiful song. Like it never really works like that for me. It's like you're trying to find your wallet. Like I've lost my wallet. Where's my wallet? And then like all of a sudden, like you're looking for inspiration. Like I, I'm trying to find inspiration. Like f please, inspiration, please find me. And all of a sudden you forget about it for like two seconds, you know, and like you just like sit down. It's like on the couch. Like, oh, here it is. And, like it just kind of finds you, you know, like. It's kind of hard to just like grab a song out of thin air for me, you know, it's just like, it just kind of has to come to me. It's just, there's nothing that can set it up besides just like, right. this, you know. so, so, so this recording session you, you did for the record, mm -hmm. was it kind of spontaneous where you thought, okay, now the inspiration is coming Oh yeah, man, like a lot of those parts are written like day of, or like, we practiced like once, so we kind of wrote like a bunch of songs like that day. I mean, I had like these sketches, you know, like, I had like the outline of a figure, you know, and then like after a while they would kind of like put in some colors to it, you know, and there's always add, adding on to, you know, songs never done for me, you know, it's, it's always got to be different. Every time. Does this count uh, more towards the music than, than the lyrics? Yeah, I mean, the lyrics are pretty steady usually, but I mean, the, the good thing is that I'm trying to be better at is like using a voice kind of like an instrument, you know, like you think mm -hmm. about people like Van Morrison or Nina Simone even, or like Tim Buckley, you know, their, their voices are just like so dynamic and they can change like the melody or like, you know, kind of anything, you know, and just obviously you got to have like, for my tunes at least, you know, I, I kind of keep the words intact, but the, you know, the vocals can change every night, you know. But w were you as, as adept at, at the singing part as, as you were at the guitar? I'm sorry? W the... When you started out, w w did the singing part come as easy to you as Oh, no, I sucked at singing for a long time. I think I tried too hard for a long time. Especially in the last record, I don't think the vocals were all that great. But I think I'm learning to just like pare it down and learn like what I'm good at and not like trying so hard, you know, mm -hmm. and just like just letting it kind of fall out of you, you know, you don't have to be like trying so hard, you know. But the guitar playing definitely was, came easier than singing. I'm, I'm still trying to learn to be a better singer all the time. Why do you think you try too hard then? I don't know, just like putting on a show and just being like, oh, I'm just focusing here. It's like kind of bullshit, you know, and I think this record's like more real, it's just better, you know, and like I'm not like trying so hard. It just kind of happened. It was like just relaxing and fun environment. It wasn't like, I mean, obviously there's anxieties with that, just like working so quick. But it wasn't like this big like stage show mask, you know, it was like a record I really wanted to do. Well, th this is kind of a, a difficult question to answer maybe, but do you have a, a favorite song on the, on the album? On um, this record? I like this, the, there's, I mean, they're pretty sick songs. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries. I'll just uh, re-ask uh, that question. Oh, no, no worries. I think my favorite song on the record is the last one. It's called Hide in the Roses. I like it because I made it up on the spot. I thought it was fun. I don't think it's like, I think there's like better music, like musically there's better songs on the record and like cooler, more interesting. But like for me, that's like has the best kind of stories. Like, I just made it up on the spot because the guy who was recording was like, well, we have more time that you paid for. You should just record another song. I was like, I have no more songs. And he's like, just make one up. And so I did. And it worked out pretty nice. And that was like the first take, what you heard on the record. And just, it worked out. Just kind of riffed for a second. And some lyric came out. It was fun. OK. Um, well, finally, then, uh, the album is called Primrose Green. Mm -hmm. uh, any special significance to that track? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely of a time and place as a, as a kid in Rockford. It's like this drink my friends and I made up where it's uh, it's like whiskey and morning glory seeds, so it's kind of like loopy, psychedelic drunk, you know, like kind of like the walls look weird, you know, so. I mean, it's just of a time and place where, I don't know, it just like brings me back to like a fun time in my life. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you very much for your time. No problem at all. All right, thank you.